sorry about that guys my camera just like stopped so I am just gonna spray all of these parts I do not need to spray my mineral stone and the top part don't need to spray them and I should be done for spraying and the same as before you get some kitchen roll and wipe it all down okay guys now it is the easiest bit of all of the easy things to do with cleaning out your gerbils. And no, just because I've put that in there doesn't mean that it is putting your sawdust in. It is actually constructing some tubes for your gerbils to play with. So I'm just gonna well actually my mum wanted to make these tubes so I'm just gonna put over to the side the pieces which are going to be used to make them so I'm gonna need one of them these things some rings oh and put the rings on the inside kind of don't don't leave them exposed. Make sure that they're buried, like, attached, because then your gerbils will eat them. I know this because my gerbils totally eat them. Like, and have already nibbled ones at the ends. So these are the pieces which are going to be used to make them. So now my mum is just about to make it. One way of like making it is you just put it in, put them together, put it in, and oh yeah, basically, and bam, should be done. Really, it's actually really easy, like I said before. So now is another easy bit. This is one of my favourite bits. It wasn't last week, and it might not be this week because we are running low on sawdust. And as I previously mentioned, my brother and my dad have gone to Pets at Home to get some new sawdust. And they should have been back by now. So, once I have tipped all of this in, I am probably just going to play with my gerbils. Oh, they should be back now. Excellent. So, as you can probably tell, guys, this is not lasting them oh some paper let me just put this in for them yep they're back and i have got them some new sawdust cool from pets at home medium lemon scented wow it actually does smell really nice i love lemons so this is like partly kind of from some previous sawdust which I had and as you can probably tell it is no way near enough they have got hardly any at all so I'm going to open up this bag and I can't show you me pouring this in because this is all clumped up together but if you could smell the scent of this through the YouTube video, then I would seriously let you smell it because this smells really nice. This is the first time they've had lemon scented ones. I bet that my gerbils are gonna love it. Oh, and if you guys are having trouble making it, then you can just go and get some scissors like these nice good scissors and just try and make a little hole just cut a little hole a tiny little hole there so now I'm just gonna put these scissors back open it pour it in and when I've done that I'm gonna get back to you okay guys this should do it now what you need to do is just break up the big clumps of sawdust if it is in clumps that smells nice 
doesn't really smell 100% lemony, it is still kind of lemony. Just break up the big clumps. If you have trouble doing that because you're a little kid, then get one of your parents to help you. Or just leave it for your gerbils to clump up, but don't leave massive clumps. And we're going to need a little bit. No, this. I'm just going to get back to you to get a ruler to show you how much um, sawdust or wood shavings you should get one. Okay, so let me just dip the ruler in. And what? Actually, I'm going to dip it in kind of a bit further. We should have about seven, about seven to eight centimetres of it. And I'm just going to put in the tubes and some of the little houses. And then I'm going to show you how much it should be with all of that. But first, this looks kind of like an okay level. So I'm just going to try and mash it up a little bit so then slightly lower. Mash it down and now... I will go and get, now this is all higgledy piggledy, this is a bit too high so I'm just going to adjust it slightly, okay now it is adjusted correctly so that they can like go for it because this tube was kind of like too high so I've had to change it, oh I'm sorry mum but it's going to be over here in this way like this now I'm just gonna bury it and get back to you and I've done so this looks slightly too high well it will be too high when I put in some of the other stuff which will probably get buried in so one of the best things to do is like fold up this which I can't do with just one hand so I'm gonna get back to you in a sec Actually, my mum's doing it. No, thanks, mum. Wait, no, I need to put a little bit sort of thing. So, I'm going to move this a little bit closer so then I don't spill it all on the floor. Just grab a handful and put it in. If it looks too high, then probably grab a handful. I'm going to grab, I grabbed a handful and about half of a handful. This is the perfect level for it and now with tubes in I'm just going to try and find my ruler where did I put my little ruler oh it's over here my mum just moved it so it let's bury this ruler is seven to eight centimeters again I know you can't really see that, but trust me, it is seven to eight centimeters. Yeah, you can't see that, but it is. So now I need to put, like, before I do anything else, move this over here. And put the main bottom part of this on which I cannot at all do with only one hand so I am just gonna pause it for a sec while I do okay that was much easier than I thought and it's like this I'm actually gonna take it off and turn it around because these tubes should be on this side okay okay guys so I have put it the correct way round and now I, I'm just going to put this part on here, like this, pretty tricky to do it with just one hand, so, huh? so I just need to take off this, put it on there, Excuse me, Scout and Silver. Excuse me, girls. You can probably tell which one's which. Silver is the silver one, and Scout is the brown one. Okay, so this is going to probably go 
about here, like this. And this is good. Okay, so it's going to go there like that. And now I need to, excuse me, Scout, excuse me, darling, put this house, this big wooden house, which I like now a lot, in there like that. One of the good kind of things is when I play with them, I can just very simply take this off. So that then I can still play with them when we're inside that. Now I'm just going to test out how the ladder will fit in with that wooden house there. Hopefully it should fit in fine. If it doesn't, then we got a problem. So far so good guys. I'm just going to try and bury this ladder a little bit more so then it's more in. Okay, I'm gonna, struggling, so I'm just going to get back to you when I've put it in. Okay, so I've put the ladder in, and it is safe and secure, like this. Perfectly fine. Exactly perfect. And now, I am going to put in their food, which I totally need. Goes over here. Um... I'm going to put their water in in a second. I'm not going to have the lion house in this week because they don't really use it and there isn't really any space. So, hmm, oh, here. I'm going to put in the football, which Scout likes to play with. Your football over there in the corner. And... That should be it. But now I'm just going to put this top part on here and then put in the water and the mineral. And then I'm going to um, get back to you. Okay, so I've just um, remembered you need to put some bedding, as I call it, inside here. This kind of bedding, it's at Pets at Home. I got it when I got them. So this is about half a year old kind of and we don't throw it away because it's not gone off and like really bad it's okay so i'm just gonna put this lid on and as i previously said put this on oh and if your gerbils are being good then you can give them a special treat like a nutty stick or an eggy biscuit i'm just gonna pop this nutty stick in i don't really struggle with this it's just because i'm trying to do it with one hand so i'm just going to get back to you when i put it in okay so i have just put the nutty stick in and now i am going to take everything out of the um, like cardboard plate in so this, this, oh, and any cardboard you can give to them inside the house. So like that, this toilet paper roll, mainly just lots of toilet paper rolls, and this is slightly too big at the moment, and wow, they have shredded that really well. So you just need to pick up your gerbils and put them in. Oh, they're very fidgety, aren't they? Oh no, and, and I did, I didn't just hurt Scout. I do it kind of gently. So considering, oh yay! So, oh man. Sorry guys, I just closed that stupidly, and my mum has to open it. There we go. Thanks, mum. Okay, I just put silver back and silver back. Oh, that's the type of gorilla. Be careful, silver. A good way to pick up your gerbils. Just tail them around. 
just fall over completely. Since Scout is very fidgety, I'm going to go back to you and put her in. Okay, so I have just put my gerbils inside their gerbil room, and this, I'm probably just going to tip all of this inside here. So that is how to clean out your gerbils. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye.